Hi, I'm Brad with AB Suppressor. Today we've got another Versus video for you. This one's going to be a little bit different. Instead of picking one suppressor and going against one of ours, we're actually got so many requests out there, we're going to try to do a bunch of them in one day. So we're going to start with our Little Bird 22 uh, Rimfire Suppressor, our Mission Enhanced Little Bird, which is a 1022 Integral Barrel. Then we're going to take a handful of suppressors, including a Dead Air Mask, uh, Silencer Co. Uh, various ones and we'll cover all of these in detail. At the end of the video we'll give you all that data so you can look at it. But during this video we will we'll highlight a few things uh, that kind of separate ours or the differences. So the three rounds that we'll be shooting is a CCI Quiet. This is my favorite for the RPR. Uh, sounds really fun. Um, the CCI Standards we'll be shooting in the pistol and in the 1022. And then we're gonna step it up and go to a 17 Hornet. Not that all of these suppressors are rated for that, but ours is, uh, so we wanna go ahead and collect that data. So we'll gather all the data, we'll have it available for you, and let's go to the range and see what we get. So let's talk about DB. The good news is there's actually a handful of good suppressors out there for the 22 Rimfire market. And there's some that aren't so good. And uh, you'll see that in the data. But there's a lot to be said for DB. And, and some people don't understand necessarily what DB means. They see a number, you know, a, a 103 versus a 106. Well, that's 3 DB. That's actually a lot of noise difference. And you'll be able to pick that up with your ear. Uh, it's not something like weight to where, you know, if you had 103 pounds of something versus 106 pounds, yeah, whatever, it's about the same. DB is, is not a linear scale, so 3DB does actually make a difference. You know, again, I'll talk about the dead air mask. You know, we lead it with a couple of DB less on everything. You can see that here, uh, shooting CCI standards. You know, a lot of times we'll get questions about, you know, well, should I do a integrally suppressed little bird? Should I do a standalone little bird? And, and you can see the results as we shoot those two against each other. Um, it's, it's kind of a wash for all practical purposes on that because you've got the action of the 1022. But ammo selection uh, on 22 is something we get a lot of questions about. You know, I've, I've mentioned it before, but it's the CCI quiets and the CCI standards, even though it says standard, that doesn't mean it's a high velocity uh, 22 and there's others out there. But we want to stay below that, that critical supersonic crack. If you take even our little bird and you shoot a very high velocity 22 through it, you still get that crack out of it and not get the benefit you were looking for. So make sure that when you choose the ammo with whatever suppressor you choose, that you've got an ammo that is going to be uh, subsonic. Uh, we do shoot the quiets, which is very much uh, below the, um, the speed of sound. And uh, when you shoot that in uh, rimfire, uh, bolt action, man, is it fun. A lot of people think that you had a bad load uh, or that the gun didn't go off, and then you shoot a, a rock or a, a steel target and they see that, uh, in fact, the gun did go off and, and uh, puts a big smile on everybody's face. So we shot the, the 17 Hornet. You know, it's a smoking fast. Um, it's going to have that sonic crack I talked about with the 22s. Um, but, you know, if a, if a guy is uh, shooting coyotes, uh, it's nice to be able to put one of these on and save your ears because for a little round, it, it does have one heck of a little crack to it. And... Uh, so we were happy to be able to share that information with you as well. So with our DB testing, uh, we shot a lot of suppressors today uh, on a lot of different platforms with a lot of different ammo. And uh, it was a long day of, of filming. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we do take the lead uh, by just a couple of DB uh, out of the pack. And some of the pack falls behind. But uh, we'll have all that information for you at the end of the video as well. So let's talk about the length of the suppressors as that's always something that we uh, look at during our versus videos. Um, in this video, you're gonna see we're actually the longest of all of them. 
Um, there's some reasons for that. When we go to add volume to the suppressor or we want to deal with the, the blast coming out of a 22 rimfire, we don't have that, that high pressure to be able to push the gases out and to do the things that we can do with a center fire. So we end up with a, a, a longer suppressor uh, with four baffles in it and then we've threaded the inside and that's, that's acting to help scrub that air as it comes through. Uh, some of our competitors, um, you know, they'll go to a very short uh, suppressor and you'll see how this one works um, in the data. Uh, some guys go to uh, very long but also very big and you'll see that this one uh, didn't perform uh, as well as maybe you would think it would because it's obviously got the most volume out of everything but it wasn't scrubbing uh, the bore line like it should. Um, the dead air mask is a, is, a, is a fairly good balance of everything. It's, you know, it's got a decent length and a decent girth. You'll see that it performs uh, relatively good compared to the Little Bird. But that brings me to another point of our uh, diameter on it. When we go to put it on a gun is where we start to separate ourselves. And so if I put this on this Ruger 2245, you can see that it matches the barrel profile perfectly. Uh, we match many barrel profiles, uh, the Ruger RPR, the CZ 455, the CZ 457, and you'll get this nice smooth look. And you'll, you know, you'll see that the others don't provide that, including the mask, if you look at the mask here on the chart. So let's have a look at then the Ruger RPR that we shot today with the Little Bird. You can see that, you know, again, that matches the barrel profile uh, really nice, gives it a nice clean look, doesn't look, you know, clumpy out there on the end. And uh, that's just something that we liked as one of our design criteria as we were working on this. But it also gives us a benefit uh, in the suppression being able to to have that length and we just didn't need the girth to go with it. So let's talk about weight of a suppressor. Um, we feel it's important. Uh, we feel it's actually more important than uh, even length uh, in a lot of aspects, especially on a 22. Um, you know, weight, uh, if you've got a lot of weight hanging on the end of a barrel, it's going to affect the harmonic of the barrel. It's going to affect the point of impact shift more. Um, on a young shooter, it'd be shooter fatigue, uh, trying to hold it up to, to shoot that pop can, so to speak. Um, so let's take a look. Uh, we'll start with Little Bird here. You know, you can see that it, it doesn't weigh a whole lot. We'll put a dead air mask over here. You can see there's actually a significant difference as a percentage wise uh, between those two. And that's something to keep in mind. You know, we can look at, at some of these others and you can see on the chart, you know, some of them are using aluminum alloys, some of them are using stainless steel. So I hope that uh, helps you understand the, you know, there's a big span of, of the weights in the market. Um, some are on the heavier side and, you know, some are on the light side. So I hope that helps you understand the 22 rimfire market. 22 rimfires are just great for kids. It's, it's a great introduction and it's also great for the older kids. <laughs> Uh, they're a lot of fun to sit around and shoot, um, and uh, I think everybody should, should really start with a 22 rimfire. Um, we like to thank our competitors for helping us out. It gives us context to our testing. You know, it's not just us testing something. It's, it's the same day, same gun, same meter, same environment, and you can see how they compare uh, to each other with the different ammos that we shot. Uh, thanks again for watching this. Again, we'll have all the information at the end. Uh, that you can pause and crunch the numbers however you wish. And we hope to see you in the field or at the range sometime.